So without further ado, let's get the conference underway with the first of today's speakers. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium the NTDA National Chairman, Mr. Prashant Chopra, who will now give the Chairman's address. Prashant. Industry colleagues, on behalf of the NTDA Executive Officers, it also gives me great pleasure in my second year as National Chairman to welcome so many of you to the fourth Tire Industry Conference. Well, what a hectic 12 months it's been since I last stood before you. I can't cover everything that's happened in the time we have, but here are a few highlights. In January this year, we had a real victory. As one of the first trade associations to oppose the government proposal to change the testing frequency of the MOT from 311 to 411, and after almost three years of lobbying, the NTDA, together with its sister bodies within the AALG, very much welcomed the announcement that after careful consideration, the government had decided not to proceed with the proposed changes on the grounds of safety concerns. I was hoping for a cheer. <laughs> uh, then in February, the European Commission published Regulation 163, making imports of new and retreaded tyres for buses or trucks originating in China subject to registration for potential duties. In May, it then introduced Regulation 683, imposing a provisional anti-dumping duty on such tyres. As a UK-based association with broad membership, this situation has been difficult to say the least. Of course, the NTDA supports the proximity principle and manufacturing, distribution and reuse of tyres within the UK, but UK tyre manufacturing has declined to such an extent that we no longer have new truck tyres manufactured in the UK and there is now a significant reliance on Chinese imports. The NTDA has worked tirelessly this year to educate the Commission, UK Government and trade bodies such as the Road Haulage Association, Freight Transport Association, the Confederation of Passenger Transport of the serious short-term impacts such actions and duties can have on product availability and cost. We hope that the UK-based retrailers can ramp up their operations to supply against demand and that new tyre manufacturers and importers build new relationships that ensure we keep Britain moving. There can be no doubt that this has been a serious game changer for the UK tyre market and one that appears to be ongoing. It also demonstrates the impact centralised decision making can have on markets that vary from country to country. But 2018 has not been doom and gloom, much to the surprise of many fans. England made it to the final, uh, the semi-final, sorry, of the World Cup. <laughs> would have been nice to find, wouldn't it? Um, and the UK economy had a significant boost as a result. Following a cold winter, 2018 was also the joint hottest summer on record for the UK as a whole, and the hottest ever for England, which also resulted in a much needed further boost for the UK economy. But not everyone was happy with the heat wave, and the farming community in particular has suffered, which is having an unwelcome impact on the price of produce. More gloom? Well, it certainly highlights the importance of supply chains and trade relationships. Speaking of which, Boris Johnson and many other key cabinet figures resigned over the government's proposal for a free trade area with the EU post-Brexit. And I'm sure you'll agree that business uncertainty resulting <coughs> from the Brexit saga continues to keep us all on tender hooks. The recent EU leaders meeting in Salzburg has further highlighted the difficulty that exists in agreeing a deal, with disruption to markets and currency effects proving particularly dramatic for many of us. Interestingly, all the gloom, the uncertainty, the need to be informed and better represented seems to have worked in the NTDA's favour. The association continues to thrive and once again we have welcomed many new companies into membership, including Banner Batteries, Compilator, DG International, Ecobat, Exhaust and Tire Shetland, Cheaper UK, GITI Tire, GTG Training, Hamilton Motor Engineering, Heller, Schaeffler, Tire Bay Group, Tire Net, Silk Moth, Smart Garage Solutions, Smart Auto Fit Centre, Transport Training Services Northern Ireland, and Westgate Tires. 
I know that many of those companies are represented here today alongside a number of other companies that are looking to join, and of course, you're all most welcome. In response to the challenge made by our members in the NTDA Manifesto for Change, officially launched at last year's conference, I'm pleased to say that our work to improve both the safety and standard of work of tyre technicians is also going extremely well. I'm delighted that we have not only well and truly exceeded the 5,000 mark for a trained, assessed as competent and licensed REACT commercial tyre technicians, but we have also issued more than 250 licenses under the new tyre technician professional development scheme. A number of tyre distributors, manufacturers, aftermarket suppliers and training providers have, have adopted the scheme both in order to deliver the required training and assessment, but also to deliver refresher and CPD training. The NTDA believes, as do many other professional bodies in the sector, that training, competency assessment and licensing are the way forward in ensuring we have a professional, safe and fit for purpose workforce in the future. As I said last year, the scheme effectively is intended to act as a form of self-regulation for the tyre retail and distribution industry and represents a very exciting opportunity for both employers and employees in that it improves the mobility of tyre technicians by providing them with a nationally recognised licence designed to demonstrate their competency. The scheme introduced three new licences, namely the Licensed Retail Tyre Technician, Licensed Vehicle Service Technician and Licensed Commercial Tyre Technician. The latter is proving extremely popular, especially in a number of specialist areas such as agricultural and earth movement tyres. The association has also actively continued with its charitable activity and over the last three years I'm delighted to say that close to £50,000 has been raised by the NTDA and its members for the Real Rights Charity, with much of that money having already been presented to Wheel Power, the national charity for wheelchair sport. One of the highlights in our social calendar this year was the NTDA Tyre Industry Golf Day. More than 70 golfers from the tyre and automotive aftercare market attended the sun-baked Mia Golf Resort and Spa, you'll know if you were there, on the 26th of June and brave the heat to contest the trophies which proudly carry the names of many NTDA founding fathers and past presidents. The event raised a further £2,225 for the Wheel Rights Charity, thanks to a raffle with prizes donated by Bridgestone, Cooper, Continental, Hankook, Pirelli, Maritime Cargo Services and the Mia Golf Resort. In 2019, get your diaries out, we'll be holding the golf day on Tuesday the 25th of June at Rudding Park Hotel, Spa and Golf Resort in Harrogate. I hope to see many of you there. We also have two more major social networking events to look forward to this year, the Northern Ireland Ladies' Night and Awards at the Sleeve Denard Resort on November the 17th, and the North West and North Wales Region Rubber Ball in Blackpool on the 24th of November. I'd encourage you to attend those also. So as I mentioned earlier, I could say a lot more about 2018, but we have some terrific speakers lined up today, so I'd better draw to a close. As always, I'd like to, wherever you are, I'd like to thank the, the NTDA team at Ellsbury for all of its hard work and dedication to the conference and to the dinner this evening. Your hard work is always appreciated. I've very much enjoyed my two years as National Chairman of the Association. It has quite frankly flown by. I can now rest in the knowledge that next year you will be in the extremely capable hands of a dedicated and enthusiastic tyre industry professional, our current Vice National Chair, Mr Martin O'Brien. I now look forward to catching up with many old friends and making some new ones. I hope you all have a very enjoyable day. Thank you.